Good day everyone. Today in this video learning, we are going to discuss rational functions, equations, and inequalities. And we are going to review rational expressions and differentiate rational function, rational equation, and rational inequalities. Now, what do we mean by the word rational expressions? Or when do we say that the given expression is a rational expression? When we talk about rational expression, a rational expression is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. Okay. Therefore, to make it clear, I do have here illustrative examples. And then we are going to identify if the given expression illustrates a rational expression. 9x minus 15 is a polynomial all over 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 is also a polynomial. Therefore, 9x minus 15 all over 3x plus 2 is a rational expression. Okay, next x squared plus 3x plus 2 is a polynomial. Next, 3 is also a polynomial. Therefore, x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over 3 is a rational expression. Next, what about if we do have 1? 1 is a polynomial. X squared minus 25 is also a polynomial. Therefore, the given expression 1 all over X squared minus 25 is a rational expression. Square root of X minus 1 is not a polynomial. 3X plus 2 is a polynomial. But although 3X plus 2 is a polynomial, still... The given expression is not rational expression. Now, what about if we do have 1 all over x minus the square root of 5? 1 is a polynomial. x minus the square root of 5, observing our radicand for the radical symbol. Now, our radicand here is 5, which is not a variable. It is a constant. Therefore, the denominator is a polynomial. Thus, 1 over x minus the square root of 5 is a rational expression. Now, the concept about rational expression will be utilized when we talk about rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. Meaning, we do have fractional expressions and then there is an additional, additional symbols such as equal, sign, we do have the is less than, we can also have is greater than, we can also have at least, at most, or we can also have additional variable. Now, we do have rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. These are all uh, composed of rational expressions, okay? The, but when do we say that the given function is rational? Okay, now, a function is said to be rational if and only if the given form is written as p of x all over q of x, wherein p of x and g of x are polynomial functions and g of x is not zero function. In our example, our p of x here is 9x minus 15, while our g of x is x minus 5. There is a variable y, and that is the reason why we do have function because we are looking or we are expressing rational function into a certain relationship between 
two variables. And what are those? The variable x and the variable y. And this can be represented by table of values or a graph. Therefore, when we talk about rational function, a rational function expresses a relationship between two variables. And what are those? We do have the x and the y. Or we do have uh, the set of all possible values represented by the x and the set of all possible values which is represented by the y. Okay? And then, what about when we talk about rational equation? Now here, we do have negative 15 all over x minus 5 plus 3 is equal to 13. In this case, we do have our symbol equality and then we only have one variable here. Therefore, when do we say that the given equation is rational equation? Now, rational equation is an equation involving rational expressions, wherein the aim of the rational equation is to look for the value of the variable x that will satisfy our equation. Meaning, you are looking for the value of x so that our equation will be what? will be equal but left and the right side of the given equation. Okay. Now, what about when we talk about inequality? Now, the difference between equation from inequality is that the inequality or the rational inequality uses inequality symbols such as uh, is less than, is greater than, Sometimes we do have is less than or equal to or is greater than or equal to. Yan. And in this case, when do we say that the given inequality is rational if and only if the inequality involves rational expression? And same with rational equation, the aim of rational inequality is to look for the values of x that will satisfy the inequality. Now, therefore, when we talk about rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality, rational function expresses relationship between two variables. It can be represented by table of values or graph. And... When we talk about rational equation and rational inequality, we are looking for the value of x or the value of the unknown that will satisfy our equation and inequality. Now, with that concept, let's go with the given introspection, the self-evaluation. Determine if the given expression is a rational expression. I do have here A, B, C, D, and E. Which, which of the following? Or is A rational expression? Is B, C, D, and E a rational expression? Let us... Analyze or let us uh, observe the given expression if it satisfies the condition that, that the given numerator and denominator of the expression are polynomials. Okay? Next, after answering the given first exercise, we proceed with the second exercise. Determine whether the given is rational function, rational equation, or rational inequality. We do have A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Now, the answers for these exercises Activity number one and activity number two can be found in the description below. And to end with my discussion, always remember that a rational function expresses relationship between variables x and y. While when we talk about 
rational equation and rational inequalities, we are looking for the values of the unknown that will make our equation and inequality what? Equal between the left and the right expressions relative to the given equation. And when we talk about inequality, it also satisfies the condition of inequality. God bless everyone and see you in my next video learning episode. God bless.